Hello everyone, I am Brianna and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a weekly plan with me. We are still in the month of September. Actually today is September 22nd, but I'm going to be planning out the rest of September here. I am going to be doing the 23rd through the 30th. So I'm actually going to go into next week because there's only one day in this planner um, or in not this planner but in this month and I just want to set it up so that the next video that I have is just October and all of the things for that month. <music> So I want to start out by sharing what I'm going to be using. Um, I have these washies out. I can't remember when I got this one. I believe this is Planner Perfect. Um, I mean, I'm almost 100% positive this is Planner Perfect, but I cannot remember when I got it. So I have this one out, and then I took these two out because they were part of the September sub box and I haven't used them on a weekly spread yet. At least I don't think. I'm gonna have to look back. But I do have these stickers that I want to use. They're from Hand Can Plan. Her deco sheets, you guys, are I I just I love them. I all of them are so good. She just released November and I need to go put a cart together so that I could place an order for more stickers. And then I pulled this sheet out. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the homes, but I do want to pull some trees out, I think. We'll see. Maybe I will. I always say I'm not going to do this and then I end up doing it or something completely different. So this is the plan right now until I get in there and decorating and we'll see. Um, I got this sheet because I loved fall is my favorite color. Autumn is calling, let's get cozy. Like these little boxes, I don't know. I just love them. So we're gonna try to create something fun with those stickers and this washi. Um, let's see. I don't think I need to add anything else to this spread. It was just simple. Um, let's see what we have going on this week. Let me find my pen. Okay, here it is. I purchased more of these zebra blend pens. I got a couple of colors. Let's see if I can reach them up here. Um, they're just my favorite pens. So I'm like, hey, they have more colors. I'm gonna go grab some. So I ordered them online off of Amazon but I'm using this like blue colored one. I might switch for the green soon, we'll see. So we do have um, a soccer game on Saturday. Okay. And I think that's all I need to update here. I am going to washi and set up the pages on this book and this is my homeschool planner. I might do the same. Actually, I don't think I will because this past week, um, I didn't use all the pages that I had prepped. And so I had to white out some things and I don't know, switch things around. So I need to do it day of on there. I threw, I guess this is all new for you guys. I moved books around. So let's rewind a little bit and I can explain what I did. I have two TNs that I'm using and I had them set up personal and then my other one was school related. Um, it wasn't working though because I realized I needed this book and I needed my personal planning to see what was going on um, when I can plan for my director role and all of that. And then my homeschool planner, I also need it. Like this is my life right here, um, personal and school, and I needed it all in one book to make it easier. Uh, what I did with the other TN is um, I was thinking about 
just not even having a tea in. I was thinking about just pulling out these books and having them just on my shelf in front of me and I can pull them when I need them. But I decided to leave them in here because I have four. Um, but this is that homeschool record keeper. This is my August journal that I'm still working on. This is my September journal that I'm still working on. You guys, I am so behind on journaling and I need to get my act together and get these books finished so that I am not behind going into the holidays. Uh, because then how, how my personality works is that if I get too behind, then I won't do it. So I do want to finish that. And then I haven't done anything to this journal yet. Um, I just need to find time. You guys, I am... It's just so busy over here. I don't have time to do everything that I want to do. Um, eventually, though, I am hoping that I will have some free time carved out. And maybe that's my problem. I need to do that in my planners to where it's like, okay, from this time to this time, every single day, that's what you get to work on your journals or anything else that you need to do. So um, I'm going to try to do that this week and have like a little time carved out for, um, myself to create because that really does make me happy. Um, one thing I want to talk about though, before I start decorating, sorry, you guys, I always get kind of chatty when I <laughs> haven't talked to you guys in a while. Um, I pulled out my Hobonichi Han again. So you have seen the inside of this, um, a little bit. I have shared some things that I have been doing with it. Um, you know, at first I was just using it as like memory keeper, you know, everything that we've done um, just to have, you know, a record of everything that was going on. And like, I mean, you flip through this and it's just so full of just goodness. Um, but I couldn't keep up on it. So I have decided to switch ideas and make this the book that I do my sermon notes and my scripture writing and maybe even add um, on the weekly section prayers of things that I want to like, you know, just give to the Lord or praise for him or just anything that is on my mind that day and just write it down. Um, and then on these pages, let's see if I can get to September, uh, just use them as scripture writing and throw some stickers down and a little washi. It's just a way for me to decorate a little bit each day. Uh, because I don't want to do huge spreads each day, but you know, playing with stickers is fun and you know, just doing this. So I might actually get a Hobonichi cousin for next year and have that strictly be just what I was saying, what I'm going to do now. So that's my thought. Um, I'm not going to use it for memory keeping or personal planning or anything, but I do love just flipping through that paper, the sound. I like writing on it, especially with these, um, blend pens. They write so well on that Hobonichi paper. Uh, so that is the plan. That's what I'm going to do. So let me start by, hmm, I'm like, do I want to put stickers down or washi first? And I gotta figure out which washi. I think I might go for pumpkins because today, happy first day of fall, you guys. Uh, it is the first day of fall, the 22nd of September. Something very special happened today. I am not going to say what yet, um, but we are all so thrilled and so excited. Um, but I think I'm gonna put you on fast mode and or just like speed you up and then I will be back. Okay. 
So I was just talking to some friends over on Instagram and um, we were talking about heat waves and what the temperature is, like where they're at versus where I'm at. And, um, you know, they're all preparing for a cold front. Well, I am preparing for a mini heat wave. And you guys, we were cracking, or I was cracking up at least, because my mini heat wave is 81 degrees. And that is the cold front that's coming in over there. <laughs> um, so I just, I, it's so funny how weather, like we get so uh, accustomed to where we live and, um, you know, like, I think one of them was saying 68 to 70 was chilly and cold. And I'm like, well, that is just a perfect day for us. Um, the weather is nice and it's not cold when it is that temperature. But, you know, it's funny how our bodies just get used to where we're living and our climate for sure. Um, anyways, we're having a mini heat wave and it's supposed to be 81 tomorrow. I have CC, which is our homeschool community, and um, we're doing a spirit day, and I named it Mad About Plaid. So I'm hoping everyone will show up in plaid because, I mean, how fun. I don't know. We're all in plaid. The only thing is that I wasn't expecting it to be 81 degrees, so I told everyone to just be creative with their plaid because... Um, I don't want anyone overheating in their like flannel plaid shirts, you know? Um, so I think the plan is to have like a t-shirt and then the plaid like unbuttoned over it uh, so that we can take off the plaid <laughs> if we need to. Uh, and then I thought it was going to be hot on Thursday and I was kind of bummed because we're going apple picking for a field trip. And, um, hold on, let me see what time that's at, at one. So I was like, oh man, we're going to just, it's going to be so hot. And you know, when you go apple picking, you kind of want to have sweater weather. Um, but we'll see. It's supposed to cool down. It says 69. So it's still going to be hot for us, but at least it won't be like a scorching hot. And then I ended up writing soccer practice here on Friday. I don't think we're actually going because my kids have a friend's birthday party that we're going to go to. Um, soccer game. Soccer practice. Okay. My daughter is starting pony lessons on Thursday so excited for her she loves horses um, and just cannot wait to take lessons and be on a pony so I think until she's seven she does pony lessons and then once she turns seven she can do um, the horse lessons And I just threw this over here. I probably won't do much, honestly, because Monday is our busy day. And so I don't do anything except for be at CC. So that is that day. Um, I think I want to maybe bring in some orange. So it's not all green. So I think maybe the weather. Okay, and then I'm going to call that finished. Um, actually, you know what? I forgot to write the, the dinner over here. Okay. 
Now on to the next spread. I think um, I'm actually going to use this pumpkin washi. I didn't use it on that other spread. It wasn't really matching. And so I pulled out this other washi from Planner Perfect. Again, I don't know if that was last year or what. Um, I think I might have to take this book out. Let's do that. All right, are you guys all prepped and ready for October? I know I'm not. I Actually, this week I want to decorate for fall. I haven't done that yet, so I need to get on that. I usually decorate either on the first day of fall or a couple days later. And so this week is definitely um, when I need to do that. I do need to figure out when would be best for that. Okay, and maybe I'll put some down here too since I'm not writing a lot on this weekly spread. It's just what I'm thankful for. I'm having, um, I'm having a different thought of how I want to use this monthly planner. And I mean, I guess it's not like super different, but I was using it as like a personal journal type thing. Um, and then an excuse to use my washi and my stickers and all the things. Um, and then I had the planner perfect journal as like my memory keeper. I think I'm going to switch it up a little bit and have some planning. So this is where I'm uncertain because I do love the six month planner and I like having it all there in one book, but I'm thinking if I just move my weekly planning into this monthly planner that we get in our sub box, and then instead of like for the daily pages, make that like the memory keeper and have it be like the journal for what we did that day and pictures and all of that good stuff. Um, because I just think it would keep me on track a little bit more. Let me see. Because there's an actual like day and an actual space For each day you know what I mean so I guess if so on Monday I could just turn the page here and have one page per Monday or two pages and put a picture or just anything I want to remember on there but also it's like an active planner so that I have an idea of what we did like if I look back years from now, it's like, oh, okay, look it, there's that day. Well, how did she plan that day? I don't know, I'm thinking about combining them. And then maybe using the journal as like a personal journal. I don't know, it might give me a little bit more structure. We'll see, this is just kind of like, I'm thinking through this not quite sure how I'm going to go about that. All right, I just did that really quick. I threw down washi and just a couple of stickers. Nothing extravagant. So I am set and I'm ready. I can just open this book and just start writing. Let me put this back in my TN. And I feel set, I feel ready 
for the coming week. I have this monthly planner, my six month agenda, and this is how that turned out. I have my homeschool planner, I am set. Well, I hope that you guys have a wonderful week. I hope that you are all set up as well and just ready for um, good things ahead. So if you have any comments, questions, let me know below. I'll be happy to chat with you, talk with you, all the things, but happy fall and we'll chat soon. Bye you guys. Mm -hmm.